Parvit Times is a uh, mobile app company where we are in uh, par with Gaia.com, Mind Valley International, and all this uh, new new age uh, spirituality. We are uh, taking the wisdom of new age spirituality across the world, and also enlightened entrepreneurship and also leadership uh, qualities. So, with this, I would like to introduce Dr. Harikma Sir, who is head transplant surgeon and also associate professor at Maheshwara Medical College. He is founder of Blissful Doctors Organization, uh, and he inculcates the habit of uh, five days of practice in hospitals and two days of uh, total service to the community and society at large. And he talks uh, on majorly on the topics of spirituality, mental health, and also involves in lot of discussions over seventy channels uh, on social affairs and many other areas. He uh, travelled extensively. Over the world to Singapore, USA, Dubai, over to many conferences, and he has won lot of titles. He is Vijay Vibhushan. He got it from IMA in 2015, and then he also got various other titles like Vijay Vasista, and he also he is also a adjunctor at Indian Book of Records. Welcome, Dr. Hari Kumar sir, to take over the session. thank you thank you veena for your nice introduction yes. today the topic chosen by our panel is uh, conscious living with crowns how many of you want to live very consciously so that you can create everything very consciously most of the time we live unconsciously and expect many things unconsciously to happen we all know the sage saying we are the creator of our own life not only a part of it but whole of it when we become very conscious about ourselves we can walk we can utilize our body very totally what is the purpose of body body is not only for enjoyment but most of the time what we think the enjoyment is nothing but excitement in disguise the body is an instrument for enlightenment enlightenment is throwing light into various dimensions of our life so that everything will be clearly visible everything will be more blissful more beautiful if you won't believe in reincarnation this is only one life how to utilize this body you have to utilize the body very totally the total living requires the conscious living when you are conscious about your body most of the time we seek only the external beauty but when you understand the magnanimity of the body then we will give importance to the body okay all of you keep your hands like this yes fingers and one finger roll forward direction and another in opposite direction yes try to do simultaneously this one in forward direction forward rolling this one backward rolling can you do it simultaneously why you cannot do two things simultaneously because every moment is very very specific very very unique you have to absorb you have to utilize you have to totally live in that moment if you can't live in the totally in the moment then you are going to be the loser of the life so here conscious living speaks about living very consciously with the body and second the mind where is the exact location of the mind why because if you want if you know the location of the mind you can master the mind if you know where exactly the dr hari you can meet dr hari and you can seek the help of hair transplantation or aesthetic surgery because he specialized in that in the same way if you catch hold of your mind you can you can master your life everybody i am master of surgery you may be master of economics master of commerce master of engineering but you have to master your life mastering of the life is requires the conscious living like uh, body mind is also be mastered when you become conscious of your mind the so called number of wavering thoughts will reduce and you can have very focused mind you can have mindful living 
when you have mindful living when your mind is totally focused on a given in a given time like yoga saha kuru karmani when you are doing a karma when you are doing a work be total then your mind will become a wonderful weapon for the entertainment and also it is an, a wonderful tool to experience your own life where is the location of the mind people always think that mind is located in the brain my second question is where is the location of the brain some people say it is in the brain yes some people they say it is in the elbow knee as a surgeon i operated at all levels it is not there then where is the next location of the mind people say it is in the heart thinking that heart is symbol of love and uh, soul is also located in the heart people say but when we operated on the heart it is, mind is also not located there today i want to share two simple techniques to live very very consciously conscious living is directly proportional to your blissful living your bliss or happiness joy the various wonderful spectrum is connected to the art of conscious living today i'll share two techniques to you so first one is smile breath awareness you all know smile is the best communication if you have smile on the face you can be very very friendly with any person or any situation how many of you want to improve your smile yes most of you the smile is the best communication but most of the time the plastic smile prevails on the face you can make it pure smile instead of income tax paying face you can have inspiring face instead of worrying life you can have wisdom fulfilled life smile breath awareness is a wonderful tool as a doctor surgeon i observed when i implemented this technique to my medical community the doctors nurses paramedics pharma this is a very big vast industry so when i introduced this subject people felt wonderful relaxation within short span of time nowadays people are very very busy people always allocate only very few minutes of time for their personal life most of the time people always indulge in other slice in criticizing commenting condemning expectations but the smile breath awareness helps you to live very very consciously to live with your body to live with your mind of course i asked you one question what is the location of the mind today we are going to experience the mind the function of the mind is to produce number of thoughts so all of you catch hold of your nose all of you catch hold of your nose your nose not other people nose because people are always interested in other people right catch hold of your nose i count 1 to 10 don't breathe through your mouth 1 2 3 yes wonderful 4 yes 5 six okay leave your fingers otherwise next day it will come in the paper dr hari instead of uh, giving life yes he took so many lives okay nothing will right so when you hold the breath you understood that the mind stopped functioning only one thought is there if i won't leave the breath if i won't leave my fingers i may leave the body only one thought in our day to day life we require not more than 5 to 10 thoughts but normally usually the mind will produce more than 50000 thoughts only 5 to 10 thoughts are very essential for our life how to study how to live with the family how to earn how to maintain the health not more than 5 to 10 thoughts from this simple exercise we understood that breath and mind are interlinked so today the smile breath awareness first technique which i am going to share with all of you is to improve your smile and look look any difficulty with smile you may be see pain is mandatory but suffering is optional people always suffer pain is there even mother during childbirth will have wonderful not wonderful tremendous pain still she faces it she looks into the pain there may be worrying but once you face with enthusiasm energy interest then the pain will be converted into gain 
So nothing is uh, harmful in our life. Only thing is we should have right way of looking at the thing. So here smile breath awareness is looking at everything with smile, looking at your body with smile, looking at your the so-called disease, distraction with smile, all will help you to cultivate this smile. We all know the spectrum of uh, the so-called smile, joy, happiness and bliss, all this wide spectrum you can clearly understand. When you fulfill, when you understand that this is already existing with you, you can fill this bliss, joy, happiness, smile, everywhere in each and every dimension of your life. This is what uh, spirituality. Spirituality is nothing but unlearning and unleashing. Unlearning means whatever you have learned. For example, you learned up to 10th class. Is it useful now? You know how much to apply in your engineering. After engineering, in day-to-day -day living, all of our, do you think that our first class or second class education is very useful? No, not at all. You learn many things, but here you will unlearn, you will less burden yourself. That's why spirituality is journey from body to your spirit. Of course, body also lies in the spirit, soul, like a tip of the iceberg. Body is tip of the iceberg and soul is your whole of your iceberg. Most of the time we recognize that only body is existing. Limited beliefs, limited thoughts, limited patterns. But when you understand that you are unlimited being, what we call in Veda Supanishad that you are Brahman, you are God being. When you understand that you are more than a body, then your approach towards life will definitely will change. It will become total. That's why conscious living. When you become conscious, you'll understand that you are not only the tip of the iceberg, you are a whole of the iceberg. You have enough strength to deal any problem. If diverse comes, okay, we'll face it. If any disaster comes, okay, we'll see. Because life is a bundle of experiences. If you retrogressively think, yes, life is nothing but memories, not more than that. That's why it is said, Yandaro Mahanubhavulu, that means Anubhava, means having wonderful experiences. Everything is an experience. There are only two things are there. Nothing wrong and right. Only necessary or unnecessary. All experiences, if it's necessary, you have to culminate in that. You have to look into that. You have to involve in that. You have to play. You have to dance with that moment. This is what conscious living speaks about. Let us do a very simple session. That is smile breath awareness. You all understood mind and breath are interlinked. So mind mastery is life mastery. Initially, sit in a very comfortable posture. What is comfortable posture? Some people opt sitting on the ground. And majority of the people opt sitting on, in a chair. Sit very comfortably. Comfortable posture will help you to extend your sadhana, your so-called practice. Practice may, makes man perfect. So even memory is also, you can culminate, you can improvise, you can empower with simple practice. Nothing is uh, free. Nothing is, don't expect anything to come very freely. You have to put some effort, but smart effort, right? Okay, smile breath awareness. First look at me. Yes, very good. You are all very, very attentive. Yes, all of you do like this. All of you, very good. Yes, all of you, those who have hands, please do like this. Very good. Reverse direction. All of you, catch hold of your knee. Catch hold of your knee. What are you holding? You're holding nose. I said, catch hold of your knee. Why you did? Because you followed me. Practice or action is more powerful than words. I said, I said, catch hold of your knee. But action-wise, I... Yes, close the nose. You followed my action. So today we will focus more on action because action brings transformation. Information is only a temporary motivation. Yes, smile breath awareness is sit in a comfortable posture. You can also catch hold of your, you can clasp your fingers, cross your legs and you have to, yes, close your eyes. Have a smile on the face. 
have smile on the face and observe your breath from nose to navel take long breathings be aware of your long breathings from nose to navel conscious observation of your breath conscious connected breathings no gap between inhalation and exhalation take long breaths from nose to navel long breaths for long life short breaths for short life yes take long breaths very very nice wonderful long breaths for longevity as an anti aging specialist i always recommend the cleansing conscious connected intuitive breathings yes long breathings when you talk when you are taking breaths the belly should feel the inspiration and expiration most important is expiration spirituality is nothing but letting go spirituality is not gaining you already have everything within you what you call as soul or spirit yes wonderful you are doing very well have a smile on the face long breathings yes very good as you are breathing the smile on your face is increasing begin with a smile the eastern philosopher says yes very good conscious connected breathings long breathings belly breathings expiration focused breathings making you more lighter more brighter that full of energy joy peace power very good wonderful you are doing long breathings science also believes deep breathings diaphragmatic breathings makes you more lighter more stress free yes wonderful long breathings as you are breathing as you are becoming conscious about your breathing the smile on your face is increasing spreading all over the face very nice and spreading all over the body every cell is smiling today we are understanding the art of conscious living so we are becoming aware of our breath becoming conscious about our breaths the signatures associated with the breaths the smile is increasing spreading all over the body filling every cell of you excellent you are filling these smiles wherever you want it may be a pain area discomfort area or whatever you want you may be liking some part of your body fill that part with smiles at one spectrum smiles are there at the other end bliss your true nature yes fill the smiles breath is helping you to improve the smiles spreading the soulful smiles into every part of your body making you more lighter more brighter more energetic more creative more blissful yes fill any pain area with these smiles fill any discomfort with these smiles yes as you are spreading the pain area with smiles the pain is mitigating pain is getting dissolved yes very good as you are filling these smiles into the area of the pain which you are neglecting which you are which is distracting now you are focusing on it filling the pain area with smiles gradually the pain is mitigating as you are filling with soulful smiles it may be shifting to another area again spread the soulful smiles fill that area with smiles very good wonderfully doing whole body from head to toe is smiling you can also witness your distractions deviations your thoughts with smile so that you can observe the gap between the thoughts the silence between disturbance yes you are spreading these smiles into the room wherever you are as you are spreading these smiles you feel more lighter more brighter more enthusiastic energetic empowered spreading these smiles 
into the area where you are sitting. You are filling the smiles into the city where you are living, the state, the nation, whole country is smiling because of you. Spreading the smiles all over the globe, spreading towards the sky, filling the stars, planets, whole cosmos, you are spreading these soulful smiles. Be in that state. Yes, your breath is making you more brighter. Your breath is improving, maximizing, amplifying your smiles, spreading all over the body, all over the cosmos. See the joy of spreading. Spirituality is unleashing, spreading, extending, realizing that your spirit being, your God being, is only 50%. Spreading this Godhood, spreading this consciousness of soulful smiles everywhere, sharing, empowering, beautifying, is your true nature. Spread these soulful smiles. Wonderful. Last 10 seconds. Now, in this state of expansion, now observe your body. How beautiful it is. It is smiling. It is shining. Wow, wow, wonderful. Now you, from this state of expansion, expansion is life, shrinkage is death. From this expander state, from this total iceberg, not tip of the iceberg, observe your body, how healthy it is. Fill the vitality, vigor, vigor, into every cell from this expanded state. You are the boon giver. You are the creator of your body, health. Yes, observe your mind from this state of expansion. Wow, what a wonderful tool for wonderful thoughts, for wonderful manifestation. See all your emotions, the so-called neglected emotions, abandoned emotions. See how beautiful they are becoming from this expanded state of viewing the emotions, observing the emotions. Wow, what a wonderful feeling. This is the life. This is what you have chosen by your own self. From this expander state, continuously expanding, expanding, observing everything in the creation. It's all included in you. Yes. Now bring back all this expanded consciousness into this three-dimensional Beautiful, magnanimous body. Observe your breaths as you are observing. You are deeply connected to your core. See that eternal bliss in you. From this source, you are acting. Eternal source of bliss. Everything is a play. Everything is a joy. Everything is a conscious creation. As you are looking at your disease, discomfort. Yes, it is a lesson. It is an opportunity. It is a door to the divine evolution. What a wonderful thing. Be there in your core with all the immense potential, unique potential. Be there. And slowly, slowly, whenever you are ready, you can keep palms over your eyes. And slowly, slowly, you can open your eyes with smile giving high five to yourself. Wow, what a wonderful body I have chosen. What a wonderful personality I have. I'm very unique. I'm the best. Yes, everything around me is very, very, very blissful, beautiful, magnanimous, fantastic, fantabulous. Slowly, slowly open your eyes. If you understand the concept, spreading soulful smiles is spirituality. Smile is outer expression. Bliss is your true nature. There is a saying by blissful, our blissful Dr. Sar. Bliss is everywhere. You must have eye to see, heart to feel, and hands to share. Pandita Samadarshinaha said in the Bhagavad Gita, when you are enlightened, everything appears with equanimity. Everything is same, but a different flavor. You are ready to absorb, appreciate, allow everything into the life. 
There is no rejection. There is no repulsive force. Everything appears very beautiful. When question is asked to Krishna, why? Is it not difficult simply sitting in the Kurukshetra? He said, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm not bothered about who is going to win. But I'm really enjoying the play. That's why all my energies are directed towards dharma. When you have playful witnessing consciousness, you can do, you can perform your action here very totally, very consciously. This is what Krishna says. Yogastaha kuru karmani, yogi bhava arjuna. Yoga means be conscious. Yunjati yoga. Stay with yourself. Now second thing. Second technique, what we are going to do is majority of the people suffer from negative thoughts. These negative thoughts are the reasons for unconscious living. People are carrying this bundle of negative thoughts. How to release these negative thoughts? Today, we are going to do a very simple technique. Very simple technique called candle breathing. I already said, breath and mind are interlinked. Today, we focus on the treasure of the breaths. See, have the candle in front of you. Lit the candle. If you see the colors in the candle, there are different, different colors. You can do it very leisurely. Or you can observe now. If you see the colors, there are four colors are there. First one is blue color. Second one is ash color. Next comes yellow and orange color. Those who are interested to convert negative thoughts into positive thoughts, this is a very, very wonderful thing. We all know mind is with full of thoughts. It may be negative or positive thoughts. But you, if you catch hold of your positive thoughts, you can do miraculous events in your life. So here, with this simple technique, we are going to convert negative thoughts into positive thoughts. Let us do what you have to do during this procedure is blow the air into the blue color. You all know blue is intuitive color. It is not only the intellect, but also the intuition is very, very, very essential in everybody's life. The success depends upon the intellectual thinking as well as intuitive thinking. So here you are going to, you are breathing or blowing into blue color. Do for 10 seconds. After that, after that, breathe out all your negative thoughts. Yes, my nose is not good. I am very, very lean. I cannot succeed. I cannot attract good money. Many thoughts are there. Physical, mental, intellectual, financial, social, spiritual. There are so many different, different negative thoughts you are holding from the ages. Become very conscious about what you are holding. When you are blowing, one by one, lit two candles. If one goes off, you can lit the lit with other candle. Blow into the blue color. Blow out all your negative thoughts one by one. See, I'm not, I'm not uh, losing my weight, or I'm succumbing different diseases every month. I always face financial failures fairly frequently. And people always abandon me, hate me, condemn me, criticize me. The so-called the address of Shani is with me. Like that many, many, many negative thoughts you are holding. But blow all those the thoughts, every thought, initially near negative thoughts. The concept, what we have chosen today is conscious living. Become conscious of conscious about your thoughts one by one. Yes, you are releasing by blowing your negative thoughts into the blue light. As you are doing so, you will observe the lessening of the thoughts, reduction of the thoughts. Initially, you may be having number of thoughts, but while doing, you will understand you are reducing the thoughts. During this process, you will become aware of your negative thoughts, you will become conscious of your negative thoughts, and when you are doing any conscious activity, you can have control on it. So here also, the negative thoughts will reduce. Yes, blow out all your negative people. 
with whom you had negative, negative, negative experiences. Do it. It may be your aunt. It may be your life partner. Or it may be your tenant. All your bad experiences in your life, which are bothering you, yes, blow out the persons, the events, one by one. As you are doing so, you will understand, yes, all are gone out. You will go into absolute blissful state. You will feel you are less burdened, very, very light. Do it for some time. Your anger, your hatred, yes, your jealousy, all your emotions, whatever you are holding, just blow out. You can also do it now here. I am holding the candle in front of you. No need to simply listen. You can also do it blow out. One by one. Yes, very good. Initially, the negative thoughts, negative emotions, negative people, negative circumstances, one by one. You just blow out into the blue light. As you are doing so, you will understand, yes, thoughts are getting reduced, becoming very, very silent. You are culminating into your own self. You are absorbing into your own self in absolute silence. Bliss, where you can feel the flow of positive thoughts, opposite of what you did earlier, before. Yes, you will understand. Yes, so much of positive thoughts are flowing, coming out in the place of all the negative thoughts. From this, you can understand your mind is with full of negative thoughts, only few of positive thoughts. That's why you are unable to attract good things into your life. Conscious of all your thoughts. This is nothing but self-realization. Realizing about yourself. What is realization? Realignment to your own self. Later, when you are ready to release all your thoughts, negative thoughts, you realize so much of treasure, so much of wealth, of beautiful thoughts, magnanimous thoughts, marvelous thoughts are within. This is what nothing but self-realization. I said, unleashing. You unleashed. Next, initially unlearning. Next, unleashing your potential. This is what we call consciously leading or leaving our life. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, great. Next, one more technique I want to introduce to you. How many of you want to get rid of? How many of you want to get rid of your past baggages, unnecessary things which you are holding, which, which is disturbing you throughout your life. How many of you are ready? This is called shamanic breathwork. This is what I teach in all my workshops, only what we can uh, virtually share with all of you. I am sharing the, the so-called cover of the chocolate, not chocolate. Because when you are involved in the workshops, you can really enjoy the depth of it. You can also exchange your experiences. You can put tough questions to me from many books, from your experiences. Shamanic breathwork is nothing but initially you have to breathe out to the left side. Totally. Yes. After that, breathe in to the right side. Yes. Do it for some time. Breathe out to the left, breathe in to the right. Today, the subject chosen is conscious living. Because you are, during this, you are going to become conscious about what you are holding, what is bothering you, what is making you less divine. Yes, breathe out to the left and breathe in to the right. Breathe to the left. Yes, breathe in to the right. Five, six, ten times. You do it. Breathe in to the right. Breathe out to the left. Extend your neck like nodding of the head. Head. Very good. Shamanic breathworks. Shamans are wonderful healers. Do it. Now, when you are breathing to the left, breathe out all unnecessary things in you are holding in your life. Hatred, jealousy, negative thoughts, negative emotions. Yes. Bring the best things into your life. How best you want to develop. Bring it to the right. Release all the past which is holding, limiting. To the left, do it. 
with closed eyes. Very nice. Breathe out to the left. Breathe in to the right. Breathe out all your negative things to the left and bring back the best things into your life. Regaining the lost paradise is the sole purpose of your life. Buddha beautifully said, I dropped my ego. I dropped my anger. I left everything. Meditation brings the awareness to release all the unnecessary things from our life. Yes, release all the negative people to the left and bring all the best people. For example, pyramid times, flourishing, empowering, amplifying, team you can bring to the right side. Leave all past experiences. Everybody have different, different experiences in the life. Very good. Release all your one by one, great, fantastic, fantabulous. Do it. Release all your, for example, you might have lost your willpower or your self-esteem in some areas of your life. Release it and bring back that self-esteem, willpower to the right. It's all in your mind. It's all in your attitude. It's all in your perception. Yes, release one by one. Do it. While doing so, you are becoming conscious about what all the negative thoughts you are holding. What all the negative people you are continuously, you got disturbed. You are becoming aware. Life is nothing but awareness. Like breath awareness, life awareness is very, very essential. Yes, continue. Very good. Very, very nice. Release all the negative things and bring all the best. It may be money. It may be life partner. Or it may be good education, good earning. Bring to the right. Leave all the unnecessary things which are self sabotaging patterns, limiting belief systems. Yes, very good. How are you feeling? 